checks, rice checks, and good hot Ralston present Space Patrol! <laughs> High adventure in the wild, vast reaches of space. Missions of daring in the name of interplanetary justice. Travel into the future with Buzz Corey, Commander-in-Chief of the Space Patrol! <laughs> In today's transcribed adventure, Buzz and Happy have landed on a small planetoid. At this moment, wearing their spacesuits, they're approaching the airlock of a prospector's cave, where a criminal is believed to be hiding. Where did that come from? Someone's firing at us. That one came from the other direction. The airlock won't open. There's no other protection out here. Whoever's controlling those weapons can just keep firing till they get us. We'll be back in just a moment with today's Space Patrol story, The Magic Space Pictures. Hi, gang. It's nighttime here on the planet Terra. All is quiet. But in just a second, you'll hear news that'll rock this planet like an explosion. Watch out. Here it comes. <laughs> Yes, sir, the news is out, and here it is. Rice checks and wheat checks now come to you in a brand new package with a big picture of Commander Corey or Cadet Happy on the front. Gang, you can cut these pictures out and paste them in your scrapbook or pin them in your room or clubhouse. And listen, inside of these wonderful new packages of checks, you now get the Magic Space Patrol Space Picture. Here's how it works. Stare at the magic space picture. Who is it? What is it? It's hard to tell. But when you look into the sky or at a wall, presto! That's where the magic comes in. You suddenly see a giant picture that looks like Buzz Corey himself, or a real flying saucer, or a real rocket ship. Now, gang, there's 24 of these pictures, all different, and you get one in every new package of checks. So start collecting the whole set of 24 today. Just look for the new packages of Rice Checks and Wheat Checks with Buzz Corey or Cadet Happy on the front and the magic space pictures on the inside. And now, today's Space Patrol adventure, the magic space pictures. Excitement is high at the Terra spaceport today. Rumor has spread that Commander Corey himself is to blast off for a test flight in the XR-51, the new experimental rocket ship which has been under top security guard for weeks while technicians installed secret equipment. In his central office at Space Patrol headquarters, Commander Corey is now making a last-minute check of charts and technical data as Cadet Happy bursts in. Commander, Commander, somebody's made a terrible mistake. They, they, oh. Excuse me, sir. That's all right, Happy. What's the trouble? Well, I just received special orders from the Technical Training Command. Oh, let me see them. You report to recognition school for a special briefing course at 1100 hours universal star time today. Well, I thought I'd better report the mistake to you right away, sir, so I wouldn't be marked AWL. There's no mistake, Happy. Uh, but, sir, I, I thought that... You uh, thought what? Well, well, you are taking the experimental rocket ship up today, aren't you, sir? Yes, in about an hour. Why? Well, I, I figured you'd be needing me, and, and, well, if I have to be at recognition school... I put those orders through, Happy. Uh, then, uh, then I don't make the test flight? Not this one. I'm taking the... Jeff Fisher. He's been working on the project since it started. Anyway, the whole flight won't take more than an hour or two. I see. Well, sorry I bothered you, sir. In a few days, I'll be starting a whole series of flights in the XR-51. You're going to recognition school, so you'll be able to help me. Oh, oh well, that's different. Here, look at this. What's... Well, just a negative picture of the planet Saturn. Anybody would recognize that. It's a special kind of negative picture, Happy. Look at that tiny spot in the center. Keep gazing at it. Yes, sir. I still don't see anything unusual. Don't take your eyes off that center dot. Well, if this is a sample of what the course is like, it's going to be a cinch. <laughs> All right, Happy, now look out the window at the sky. What do you see? Nothing. Just a... Uh-oh. Hey, I must be going crazy. What's the matter? Why, Saturn's right out there in space, just the way it looks from a spaceship. You see it, sir? I can't see it, because I haven't been looking at the magic space picture. I don't understand. This is only one of 24 magic space pictures you'll get in the basic training course, Happy. You're going to see a lot of images in space. But how does it work? You'll learn that at the school. Uh-oh, look at the time. I've got to run over to the spaceport now to shoot one of the technicians. Well, good luck, Happy. See you when you get out of class.
Oh, Commander Corey, may I help you? Well, yes, Vanek. I just dropped in to see if Lieutenant Fisher picked up all the equipment we need for the task. It's all in the ship, sir. I checked it myself. Fine. I want every bit of extra image reactor equipment removed from this building and returned to the security lab. That includes diagrams, check sheets, everything. Is that clear? Yes, Commander. Good. Then I'll go over to the ship. I want full security measures observed. Tell your men that, Vanek. All right, Commander. Good luck. Juro Vanek at Station 4, calling Station 6. Station 4, calling Station 6. Acknowledge with Code Y. Code Y received. Send three men and a surface truck to Station 4 to pick up some special equipment. Get it aboard my private spaceship before the security lab starts checking. I got Corey fooled. With a little luck, I can blast off for Planetoid 94. Oh, what a day. How'd you get along in class, Happy? Okay, sir, I guess. But I can still see planets and spaceships and special equipment floating in space. Oh, you'll get used to it. Well, they had us look at pictures, and well, the way I did here in the office. Only we were in front of a sort of brainograph machine. Mm, that's right. You've seen how our brainograph screen shows an image of a person's thoughts. Yes, sir. Well, our scientists have found a way to make those images send electric impulses to relays and motors and instruments. Oh, just the way our brain sends impulses through the nerves to the muscles. Exactly. Only the image reactor is much faster. Ordinarily, when you think of an action you want to perform, your hand throws a switch or moves a control. With this new device, your thought throws the switch. Oh. And the purpose of these magic space pictures is to train us to project the correct image at the right time. That's right. Hmm. After you've mastered the technique, Happy, you can maneuver the XR-51 from blast-off to landing with your hands tied behind your back. Wow. So that's the big secret of the XR-51. There are a lot of bugs to get out of it before we can equip all space patrol ships with it, but we want a supply of trained pilots ready to take over. Your private space phone, sir. Space patrol headquarters, Corey here. Oh, yes, Robbie. What? When was this discovered? I see. Space phone on all planets alarm. I'll blast off right away. Corey out. Come on, Happy, let's get to Terra 5. Oh, what's wrong, sir? Some of the image reactor equipment and the key designs have been stolen from the security lab. How? Oh. All we know is that a technician named Juro Vanek has disappeared. Major Robertson says Vanek blasted off from here about 20 minutes ago. Come on, Happy, we're going after him. Vanek shipped the patrol site and he could be going either to Mars or Jupiter. But in the meantime, he could have changed vector and probably has. Well, Commander, what could Vanek gain by stealing that equipment? He may be planning to sell it, which would be pretty risky, but more likely he's working for someone who doesn't want to see the space patrol become too efficient. Yeah, and with those image reactors, our ship could outmaneuver anything in space. Vanek has been with the project ever since it started. He's probably been waiting for months for a chance to make this break. I hope we catch him right away. I don't want to miss any of that course. If we don't catch him, the King program might as well be suspended. According to that last report from Major Robertson, Vanek got away with most of the reactor cells. The heart of the whole device. Space Control Terra calling Commander Corey aboard Terra 5. Space Control Terra to Commander Corey. Corey here. Go ahead, Space Control. Commander, Space Patrol ship T-523 reports an unidentified private cruiser heading for the planetoid belt. Patrol ship gave chase, but the cruiser got away. Do you have the vector for cruiser? An approximate one, sir. 23 degrees, sun-Mars orientation, 300,000 DUs outside the Mars orbit. He's way off the Jupiter lanes. Space control, inform Major Robertson. I'll proceed toward the planetoid belt in Sector J. Corey out. So Vanek isn't going to Jupiter. Well, he can't hide out in the planetoids very long. They're just chunks of rock with no atmosphere and no food. Well, how about all the prospectors who live on the planetoids? Well, even they have to make trips to the nearest planet two or three times a year for supplies. Vanek is probably just trying to throw off pursuit. Well, we'll see. Well, Jewel, welcome to Planetoid 94. Uh, here, Barrett. Uh, take some of this stuff. And let's get out of this airlock. My, you have got a load, haven't you? Here, I'll give you a hand. Just set it down and close that inner door. Sure, sure, sure. Oh, right, you'll get out of that space suit, and I'll give you some nice hot Venus coffee. Well, this business of being a space patrol agent must be tiring. It is. I got to blast off again right away. But I will have some coffee. See, that's um, 
Real interesting looking equipment there, Joe. A special secret lock for the outer hatch to your cave. A lock? Why, Gerald, I never had a lock on the place at all till, till you started coming and storing your space patrol stuff here. In fact, last time I went out, I nearly forgot the key. Well, with all this secret space patrol equipment here, it's got to be locked up. Suppose some enemy of the space patrol tried to steal it. Hmm. Couldn't have that happen, of course. Hmm. And with this new lock, you don't need any key. You just think of a certain image, and the door opens. I do what? Uh, think of an image? Yes. An image that only you and I know. Uh, that, that's too steep for old Frog Bear. Not only that, but I got some special weapons I'm going to install on the rocks all around your cave. They work on the same principle. Weapons? Well, what in the name of purple comets do I need weapons for? Why, uh, in case space bandits try to steal the space patrol equipment, I'll install a view scope outside. And if anybody lands on this planetoid, we just think of this certain image and the controlled weapons fire at the criminals. Well, you talk like you uh, plan to stay here, Gerald. I will, after I get back from my next mission. But I'm going to install these weapons and the secret lock before I blast off. I don't know, this, uh... This image business, that's uh, worse than a key. Uh, suppose I forget what the image is. Oh, that's a good point. It ought to be something you couldn't forget. I got it. Your face. Huh? Just think of your own face. Think real hard, and the outer airlock door will open. I'll set up the image reactor right now and show you how it works. Vanik must be in another part of the planetoid belt, sir. All we've seen in the viewscope are those chunks of rock. Hundreds of them. Happy look at the viewscope to starboard. A spaceship. It was hidden by that planetoid. He must have seen us. He swerved toward Jupiter. Hey, he's really kicked down the power. Let's get him, Happy. We're gaining on him, sir. He'll crash into one of those planetoids if he isn't careful. Yeah, or we will. Hey, hey, he's going to... Cr- wow, that was close. Did you see him gear away just in time? Yes. I'll say this for him. He's some pilot. Hey, hey where'd he go? Change vector again. He's trying to keep a planetoid between him and us. I can't locate him, sir. We've lost him. Hey, what was that? The rear view scope. Look at There he is. He circled around behind us. He's on our tail. He's firing cosmic torpedoes. Yeah, now we'll have to use evasive action. Raise yourself, Happy. That ought to throw him off. Oh, that was closer than ever. Vanek's nearly as quick as lightning at those controls. He is, Happy. Vanek's ship is equipped with an image reactor. Unless a miracle happens, his next shot will blast us to bits. We'll return to Space Patrol in just a moment. Say, gang, here's big news. Big, big, big news. Remember that picture of Saturn, the one Commander Corey told Cadet Happy to look at? Remember what took place after Hap looked at it? Hap thought he saw the planet Saturn in the sky. Well, gang, how would you like to have some magic pictures that work just like that? Here's where you'll find them. Inside the new Rice Checks and Wheat Checks packages. The new packages with a picture of Buzz Corey or Cadet Happy on the front. Now, there's 24 of these magic space pictures, and they're all different. And you get one in every new package of checks. Saturn, Commander Corey, Cadet Happy, rocket ships, these and 20 other fascinating pictures appear on the magic space pictures. You'll want all 24. Here's how they work. You stare at the mysterious picture. What is it? Who is it? You can't tell for sure. Not till you look at the sky or at a wall. That's when the magic goes to work. Floating in space is a giant picture that looks like a real rocket or a real planet. Man, oh man, it's lots of fun. So, gang, hurry. Get the new packages of Rice Checks and Wheat Checks with Buzz Corey or Cadet Happy on the front and the magic space pictures inside. And now back to Space Patrol and the magic space pictures. Space Patrol scientists have developed a spaceship control device that reacts directly to the pilot's thought commands. Juro Vanek, a disloyal Space Patrol technician, has stolen several of these image reactor units and hidden them in a prospector's cave a small planetoid. The prospector, Trog Barrett, innocently believes he's assisting an honest Space Patrol agent. 
Buzz and Happy suddenly came upon Vanek's ship in the planetoid belt and gave chase. But Vanek, with his image reactor control, executed a series of rapid maneuvers that enabled him to attack Buzz and Happy from the rear with cosmic torpedoes. He's laying those torpedoes closer every time he fires. It's like he knows what we're going to do before we do it. Stand by to fire rear torpedoes. Standing by, sir. We can't use automatic game and fire because these planetoids will confuse a selector. Fire when you get him in your sights. I missed him a mile. He swerved just as I fired. He certainly didn't miss us by much. I'll try again, sir. Hap, you can hit a big target easier than a small one. This time, aim at one of those planetoids just when Vanek passes near it. I get it, sir. What an idea. I'll hold the ship steady for a few seconds. It'll make us an easy target, but you'll have a chance to aim. Vanek's moving toward one now, sir. Here goes. Nice going, Hap. At least I hit the planetoid. You got Vanek's ship with some of the planetoid fragments. He's in trouble. Good shooting, Hap. It was just luck, sir. We'll circle back and pick him up. There's a chance he's alive. I'll board his ship. Get my space while I join airlocks. Cadet Happy calling Commander Corey. Go ahead, Happy. Are you all right, sir? I'm just entering Vanek's ship now. No sign of him so far. He's got an image reactor control all right, both on his rockets and torpedo fire control. Well, the way he handled his ship, he must have been giving himself private lessons. Uh, it looks like he got away. Got away? Where could he have gone? He probably jumped out in a space suit right after his ship was hit. Okay, he could be hundreds of DUs from here by now. Coming back, Happy. Notify Space Patrol Jupiter to pick up this wreck. We'll search for Vanek. Hello, you're old. There's nobody on Planetoid 94. I'm not there. Barrett, is this truck Barrett? Yep, who'd you think it was? Barrett, listen, I'm in trouble. You've got to help me. In trouble? Uh, what happened? I'm in a spacesuit, adrift in the Planetoid belt. Well, what in the name of Jupiter's moons are you doing out there? Don't ask questions, just listen. I was attacked by space bandits. They went after my ship and it's damaged. They don't know I got away. you got to find me and pick me up before they come back. Space bandits? In the planetoid belt? Yes, yes. Uh, where are you? In my ship. I'm heading for planetoid 867. Uh, I'll pick you up, Joe. Uh, hurry, please. Here are my coordinates as closely as I can give them. I'm approximately at long line. Just a second. I'll be with you. There. Uh, let me help you open that helmet face piece here. There. There you are, Joe. Get back to the control strut. Let's get away from here quickly. Oh, sure, sure. Oh, uh, thanks for picking me up. Oh, that's all right. After all, it's the only neighborly thing to do. Uh, you all right, Joe? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. Now, let's see. You better take me to Mars. To Mars? Yeah, I'm going to have to pick up another ship and some special supplies. Then I'll come back to Planetoid 9-4. Well, I was going prospecting, but I guess the Space Patrol comes first. I admire your attitude, Barrett. Drop me off at Lowell City, and then you can go prospecting. Uh, remember one thing, though. Yeah? If anyone contacts you, remember you haven't seen me or my ship. Now get me to Mars as quickly as you can. Juro really disappeared. I'll swear we've covered every cube yard of space he could possibly be in. We must have miscalculated, Happy. Happy, look at that planetoid. Hey, there's a spaceship there. I'll head for it. You turn up the viewscope sensitivity control. Yes, sir. There's a man in a spacesuit near the ship, sir. See? Crawling up that hump of rock? Mm, judging by the type of ship, he may be a prospector. When we land, we'll get the man aboard ship and see what we can find out. How do you do? As you probably know, we're space patrolmen. I'm Commander Corey. Oh, I'm glad to know you, Commander. I'm Trog Barrett. May I ask what you're doing on this planetoid? Oh, doing a little prospecting. Thought I detected a deposit of uh, Illurium over there. Uh, anything wrong in that? Not a thing. 
Have you seen any other spaceships in this area recently? Oh, I, um, no. No, I haven't. I don't have much company in the planetoid belt, you know. You haven't seen anyone at all or picked up any signals from anyone? Uh, no, Commander. I see. Where do you live, Baron? On Planetoid 94. We got me a cozy cave with my own air supply equipment. I see. Oh, thanks, Barrett. He won't keep you from your work any longer, but if you sight any ships, no notify Space Patrol Mars or Jupiter, will you? Oh, you bet, Commander. It'd be nice chatting with you. I hope you'll find that Illurium. All right. Thanks. Go on. Close the inner hatch, Happy. Yes, sir. Commander, did you see what I saw? The back of a spacesuit? Yes, sir. It's a fairly recent Space Patrol issue with the insignia almost rubbed out. Well, what would a prospector be doing with Space Patrol equipment? He might have stolen it. Still, he seems to be an honest old fellow. Let's blast off. We'll check on Barrett by spacephone with both Mars and Jupiter Space Patrol headquarters. And if we find anything suspicious, you can pay a surprise visit to Planetoid 94. Everything's in good shape back aft, Commander. I made a thorough instrument check on the power and air control. Good. I just got a report from Mars headquarters on Barrett. He's got a clean record. But early this morning, his ship landed at Lowell City Spaceport. A man got out, and then Barrett blasted off again. But he told us he hadn't seen anybody. I'd like to know who that man was that Barrett dropped off on Mars. We're going to circle back to Planetoid 94 and find the answer to that question. Howdy, Drew. Oh, oh, what a trip I've had. When did you get back from Mars? Mm, a couple of hours ago. Hey, that's a dandy new ship you got. Barrett, what are you doing in that spacesuit? Why, I had to put it on to get to the cave from a ship, you know that. But that's my suit. The one I was wearing when you picked me up in space. Hmm. Oh, so it is. Same size as mine. Oh, I almost forgot some... Space Patrol fellows landed on number 867 and asked me some questions. What? Oh, well, I didn't tell them anything. I said I hadn't seen anybody or any ships. <laughs> You'd have been proud of me, Joe. What did they want to know? Oh, what I was doing. So I told them prospecting. Then when I told them I hadn't seen anybody, they blasted off. Real nice fellas. Um, Commander Corey was the one I talked Corey. to. Corey? And he saw you in that space suit? Why... Juro, sure, what's wrong with blundering fool? Juro, what are you getting all upset about here? Get out of the way. Let me turn on the fuse scope. Now, now look, Juro, this is my home. I, I don't like being pushed around even by my friends. Get away and shut up. Look at that. A spaceship. And it's headed for a landing ride near the cave. See what you've done? Well, I haven't done anything. I don't see what you're so steamed up about. Dante, eh? that's Commander Corey. You let him here, you bungling old fool. Now, you see, he's your commander. You can explain I was helping you there. Shut up. Just wait till oh. Corey gets out of that ship. I'll fix him. I'll blast him off that planetoid. Juro, what are you talking about? Those weapons I rigged to cover the cave entrance from every angle. Why, you're no space patrolman. You learn fast, Barrett. Get your hands off of me. You're not going to harm the commander. I won't let you. I oh. said let go. Oh. Now, keep out of my way. After I get Corey, I'll finish with you. And don't try anything else if you value yourself at all. Have your ray gun ready, Hap. I'll see if I can open the cave airlock. Yes, sir. Hey, where did that come from? Someone's firing at us. Hey, that one came from the other direction. Quickly, run for the cave. They're getting closer. One chunk of rock nearly hit me. The airlock won't open. Whoever's controlling those weapons can keep on firing till they get us. We've no protection out here. We're trapped. Hap, there's an image reactor unit here. Then Juro Vanek's inside. Yes, watching us through a view scope. Yeah, if we only knew what image would unlock this hatch. He's got us bracketed now, Hap. If you don't get in the cave, the next one will get us sure. Think of me. Think of me. Hey, who's that? Someone's on our suit's face upon frequency. This is Tog Barrett. Think of me. What's he talking about? Hey, Barrett, Barrett, what do you mean? Happy, he's telling us how to open the airlock. Think of what Barrett looks like. Think hard. Oh, gee, I only saw him once. I don't remember, except that he had a beard. Let me in front of that reactor, Happy. Let's see. Gray beard, blue eyes, space tan face. Come on, it worked. The, the airlock's open. Get in quickly. Close it behind you. Hurry. Wow, that was close. 
Susie and her daughter. I got there. They were right in the line of fire when I... Corey. That's right, Bannock. Drop that ray gun. Stand back, Corey. Hey, nice going, Commander. Vanek, you don't seem to do so well when you have to depend on your own reactions. All right, get up. Commander, you you made it. Yes, Barrett, thanks to you. I tried to stop him from firing at you. Thanks, Barrett. We'll take care of you from now on, Vanek. Get up. Okay. Okay. How did you get into a cave, Corey? Barrett's space phoned us the right image to use. You... You worked the image reactor after seeing Barrett only once? That's right, Vanek. I wouldn't expect you to know this, but a person can get in most anywhere with an honest face. That's my commander. <laughs> an action preview of next week's exciting space patrol adventure in just a moment. But first... Commander. Commander, look at how fast that boy is running. Hap, that's the fastest running I ever saw. That boy's running to the grocery store, Commander. He just heard the big news. You mean the big news? Rice checks and wheat checks now have a brand new package with a big picture of the Commander and me on the front? Yes, sir. Plus the news that inside of each of these brand new packages, you now get a magic space picture. Hope you'll follow that boy to the grocery store, gang. I'm mighty proud of those new packages of checks with my picture on the front. Hope you'll cut my picture out and paste it in your scrapbook. And hey, gang, you can also get rice checks and wheat checks now with my picture on the front. You can cut out my picture, too, and hang it in your room or clubhouse. That sure would make me happy. <laughs> uh, don't forget, inside every one of those new packages of checks, there's a magic space picture. You stare at them, look in the sky, and wow you, you see a big rocket ship floating in space, or a speeding jet car, or whatever the subject of your magic space picture happens to be. There's 24 of them all together, and they're all different. And you get one in every new package of checks, so... So start collecting the whole set of 24 magic space pictures today. Just bring home the new packages of rice checks and wheat checks with Buzz Corey or Cadet Happy on the front and the magic space pictures inside. And now, an action preview of next week's exciting space patrol adventure. Buzz and Happy are in a magnetic tunnel car. A tunnel car in a mine shaft deep below the surface of the planet Venus. As they rise toward ground level, Happy prepares the weapons they hope will enable them to rescue Tonga from two criminals. Hey, what was that? Explosion. Dratcher has blown up the entrance to the tunnel. We're sealed in. Oh, brace yourself. Our tunnel car is going to crash right into the debris. Be sure to be with us next Saturday for the exciting story, The Caverns of Venus, when Wheat Checks, Rice Checks, and Good Hot Ralston again bring you Space Patrol! <laughs> Space Patrol, an original Mike Moser production starring Ed Kemmer as Commander Corey and Lynn Osborne as Cadet Happy, was written by Lou Houston and directed by Larry Robertson. <laughs> Other players were Norman Jolly and Bela Kovach. Dick Tufel speaking. Now, don't forget to tune in next Saturday and every Saturday when Wheat Checks, Rice Checks, and Good Hot Ralston again present the new exciting Space Patrol. And be sure to see another exciting Space Patrol program on your local ABC TV station. Consult your newspaper for time and channel. Mother's, an invitation from your grocer. See his special peach coronation salad display. 1953's most beautiful salad. Canned cling peaches from California. Creamy cottage cheese. Serve with rye crisp. Mmm, mmm. Space Patrol came to you transcribed from Hollywood. This is ABC Radio Network.